what's up, I'm Nizio Cole, and today we're gonna be comparing different video game oceans. I thought it'd be really cool, and there are a bunch of different games that I have lined up, so let's get right into it. The first game we're gonna be looking at is Watch Dogs 2, which was developed by Ubisoft, released on November 15th, 2016. Watch Dogs 2 was developed using the Disrupt engine, and the body of water that we're looking at is the Pacific Ocean considering that Watch Dogs 2 takes place in San Francisco. Now, this is a pretty, I'd say, average looking ocean compared to some of the other ones on this list. Uh, the swimming is fine, just like in previous games. Boating is pretty good as well, but it doesn't really feel as smooth as some of the other games. So I'll give this about a six and a half out of 10. The next game we have is Just Cause 4. It was developed by Avalanche, released on December 4th, 2018, and it was developed using the Apex engine. Now, just like the previous entry, I'd say this looks pretty average for modern oceans. There's nothing really too stylistically going on, but unlike Watch Dogs, you can actually swim underneath the ocean. Now, there's nothing really that interesting in Just Cause 4, but we'll talk about that later on in the video. The boating feels pretty smooth. My only problem is how bright it is, and that's more of a critique with the overall game. It's just there's a ton of bloom, and it's never really night. There is a night in Just Cause 4. You can have it be night, but it doesn't happen very often often so it's pretty much day all the time and there's just so much bloom it's just so bright and there's like this big bright reflection from the sun that's just it can be overpowering at times so i'll give this one eight out of ten next up we have Watch Dogs one which was also developed by ubisoft and uses the disrupt engine which was released on may 27th 2014. now technically this is lake michigan and not an ocean but Comparing video game bodies of water didn't sound as good as comparing video game oceans, so we're just gonna stick with that. And the water for this game looks surprisingly good for a game that came out seven years ago. Obviously, it's not, you know, the best looking, doesn't have the best tessellation, like objectively good, but I think it looks pretty good and fits the overall theme. Obviously, you can't swim underneath just like any of the Watch Dogs games, but the boning feels kind of clunky and swimming is just something that I rarely ever want to do in Watch Dogs, so I'm gonna give this one a 7 out of 10. Next up, we have Just Cause 3, which was also developed by Avalanche. It was released on December 1st, 2015, and this would be what is the equivalent of the Mediterranean Sea, considering Medici is in an actual real place, but that's where it would be if it was real. And honestly, this is one of my favorite seas in video games, especially like I talked about in Just Cause 4, you can swim underneath the water, but there's not really much there, but there's a whole bunch of like plants and, and uh, like grass and things of that nature all underneath it. Honestly, it's really pretty. So I'm gonna give this one like a nine, nine and a half out of 10. And the last game we have is a little bit unconventional and that is Elite Dangerous. This was developed by Frontier Developments using the Cobra engine released on December 16th, 2014. Elite Dangerous is a game that takes place in the year 3307. And which ocean am I talking about? I'm talking about all of them because we're talking about Earth. And even in 3307, Earth looks just as beautiful, if not more beautiful than it does today. And we wanna keep it that way. You know, if there's something unwanted in your video game ocean, it's pretty easy to remove. You just delete it. But in real life, it's a little bit more challenging than that and has actually become a serious issue over the past 50 years. It's estimated that there are 200 million tons of plastic already polluting marine biomes with an added 11 million tons entering the environment each year, which leads us into the actual point of this video. You may remember a campaign on YouTube about two years ago called Team Trees, where we raised $20 million to plant 20 million trees and it was very successful. So successful in fact that even today, 2,600 trees are being planted each day. And this is basically the sequel to that. Team Seas is a movement to raise $30 million to remove 30 million pounds of trash from beaches, rivers, and oceans all around the world. That's the equivalent of 85 football fields covered a foot deep in trash. Team Seas is being led by Mark Rober and Mr. Beast, some people you may or may not have heard of. In case you're wondering where all the money is going to, all the donations will be split 50-50 between two nonprofit organizations. The first one is the Ocean Conservancy, and the second one is the Ocean Cleanup, which will focus on rivers. And as for how we're going to accomplish this, for beaches with experts at the Ocean Conservancy, they'll send professional crews to clean up some of the most iconic and vulnerable beaches on the planet. They'll also be holding safe, locally hosted events leveraging the Ocean Conservancy's International Coastal Cleanup, so Team Seas members can roll up their sleeves and see the impact they're making firsthand. For rivers, the ocean cleanup's cutting-edge river cleanup technology that will collect it before it can even reach the ocean. 
And for oceans, lost, abandoned, and discarded fishing gear or ghost gear is some of the most deadly ocean trash and super tricky to recover. Team Seas will work with Ocean Conservancy's Global Ghost Gear Initiative to go to ghost gear graveyards where they will identify and float abandoned gear to the surface. From there, it'll be hooked onto boat cranes and removed from the ocean forever. And the Team Seas campaign starts right now as of this video going up and is running until January 1st. I will be donating and I will also link the donation link and some more resources in the description. And even if you can't donate, just sharing this video and using the hashtag Team Seas to spread awareness would help more than you could ever imagine. So that's all that I wanted to talk about. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on this. Are you going to donate? Are you going to share? Let me know. But for now, it's been Cole. Peace.